At Almond Auctions, we strive to bring buyers and sellers together in a pleasurable and stress-free environment. Our company is built on over 43 years of ethical practices and the constant refinement of our craft. If you are considering an auction, Almond Auctions has the variety of services you need to make your auction a success. We are a nationwide company serving clients coast to coast and providing over 100 auctions per year. We specialize in antique tractors, farmland, real estate, farm toys, and tractor memorabilia, just to name a few. Visit our website or give us a call for a no-obligation consultation. Here's a rare item, it's in great condition, a little Alice Chalmers mini bike, and I would have to tell you, this is an honest to God's true story, my first mode of motorized transportation was an Alice Chalmers mini bike, it was $15 at an auction about 25 years ago. Alright, how many dollars on it? On the mini bike, hard to find folks, $2,000. My first one was that UB special in 1983 in Rake, Iowa. We actually had to cut the corn crib down to get the tractor out. Uh, in the middle of a snowstorm and everybody laughed at us, the auctioneer was done with the sale and I said, are they going to sell the Minneapolis Mullane? And I always wanted a UB special. We were born and raised on them in Dakotas. And I saw it there, and the auctioneer said, anybody interested? And it was only me and one other fellow, and I ended up with a tractor. And we had to take a chainsaw and cut the corn crib that had collapsed down on top of it off to get it out, put it on the trailer, and brought it home, and actually farmed with that tractor for over eight years before I restored it. This is supposed to be a 51 BF Avery. We bought it from the original owners. They were. Uh, the original owner, his dad bought a new. He was taking, they were moving to town and he decided that, his wife decided they shouldn't have the tractor and in town it was about half restored when we got it. Uh, had the wrong hood on it, wrong front tires and rims. Um, engine was running in fairly decent shape. Uh, we did a bunch of tune-up. The hydraulic system didn't work. As you can see, we completed with all new hoses. The pump plate was shot, so we had to put a new pump on it, or we repaired the pump. Put all that in the new gauges, and as a, we use the tractor some before we do a lot of cosmetic parts on them, and we managed to find a hood over the years. And at one of the Minneapolis Marine shows we went to, we found a hood, which was in nice shape, which this one is. Um, finally got it all pieced together and decided that should paint it, use it, which we did. Well, the Avery was was a company of its own, and they were sold by uh, Montgomery Wards. And also, they sold on their own for a while, as I understand. And then Minneapolis Moline was trying to increase their line in the 50s to get more production and trying to conquer more of the market, as I understand. And that's when they went and bought this Avery line. They originally were red. And then when Minneapolis Moline bought them, they discontinued the red and put the... And they only made two models. There was a VF, I think, and the BF. And they considered the VF a one-row and the BF a two-row tractor. We bought the tractor in Illinois at an auction. Um, Basically, a basket case when we bought it. it. Took us a number of years to round up all the proper parts about it, but uh, finally got the power steering parts found. And 
generator and a few other things that were totally missing. Um, over about a course of two and a half to three years, we finally got it running to where we could use it a little bit. This was the last of the 420 series because it has a slant steering wheel. The 430 series came out after this. This is the 1958, the next year they started producing, or halfway through the next year they started producing the 430 series. Uh, the, four, the 40 series was prior to this, but totally there over the uh, three years, I think they made 420s, there was quite a few of them in different models, the U, the W, the T series, and some industrial and also some um, made for the service. This one here we bought at a farm sale south of Alexandria, Minnesota. Um, we're the second owners on the tractor. We got it, it was kind of a basket case, uh, hadn't been cleaned up for many, many years, but it was still in use at the farm um, when we got it. Tin work and everything was really neat and clean. We just decided it was a neat looking tractor and we bought it that rainy, wet spring day, I can remember that. Loaded it up and brought it home and we could hardly steer it because the front spindles hadn't had grease for many years, but found out that it ran decent and we restored it Oh, I suppose 10 years ago, it sat in the shed and sat in the shed till we accumulated another one, and we decided at that point why we better use it. The B4 model would be the Four Star, Five Star in that series, okay? And this came in right after that. We have, this is the first one. Uh, they made some changes. I went to the American Bosch pump, a uh, different, little different fuel system, uh, a little more advanced on the hydraulics, but that was it. After this, then they went to, uh, well, some of the 670s and that stuff came out after that. Options are power steering, three point, it actually has dual hydraulics, this one, wide front. Um, I guess that's about it. There's some more things you could have got at that point. Uh, spin out wheels were another option. Uh, you could have got also one size bigger tires. Uh, when they started the 445 series back in 1955, Minneapolis Marine started with a torque amplifier to keep up with International. And, and uh, they, they, they continued that right into the last of the Minneapolis Marine series until 1972. It's just the normal John Deere 60 tractor, which is kind of a neat one. This one is one of the, maybe one of the pets that's always started and ran and been around here and just always kind of liked it, but don't want to split it up because of the Yakima hitch. Special hitch John Deere tried instead of their own 801 three-point hitch, what they had. And it's mounted on the rock shaft. They only made a few of them. I guess one of the things was is that the plow and all the equipment was too close to the tractor. The regular three-point hitch pushes the equipment further back away from the wheels and whatnot. When this comes up, it, it don't, you know, the other one's got a three-point arm down here with lifts, correct? This is a situation where it pushes it up. We've enjoyed them over the years. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, but We've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of them. Yes, definitely, I'm sure we'll miss a few. But as you know, we also have a few left to still play with. The Terra Tiger, built by Alice Chalmers, can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour on land, two miles per hour on water, and climb a 45 degree slope. One of these recently sold at auction. We'll show you what it brought when we return.